Hello guys, um, this is a tutorial on how yeah, to get the corona. Um, there's another tutorial that's similar. It uses the same spot to get to Mexico, because you're going to need to get to Mexico for it. But I managed to get the corona. So I'm going to use the same spot from the other tutorial and so I decided to get the corona quick and easy. So first of all, you need to be in the epilogue part 1 or 2, or not, well, it's easier in epilogue. And you want to go to this location, um, Montica Falls, I think that's how you pronounce it. And you need to bring a horse that has either a lot of stamina, or you have one of these horse stamina. That's a girl. Oh. However you pronounce it, I don't know what to say. Now you want to cross the river. River, if you get too far in the river, like too far across and go off your horse, you instantly lose all your stamina. So just be careful of the water when you get too far across. So, first of all, you want to head out across the river from that point on the map, specifically this point. And then you want to head to any of these points across the river. Now once you get across the river and around here, next to these two rocks, and make sure you brought lots of alcohol. Lots of alcohol. I sort of said that at the start, you need lots of alcohol. Now you want to get to about here. You want to squeeze yourself as close as you can get. And then you want to start drinking your alcohol like you're an alcoholic so it takes um a lot of bottles of alcohol i'd say about 21 bottles so this is like what bottle number three four So now I'm starting to get drunk, I probably overdone the amount of bottles of alcohol you need. I wear alcohol like one on one would be probably better to get drunk, I don't know if it changes anything. I did not mean to take that. Now I'm about to pass out here. Wait. Did it work? Sure did. So now you're up those impossible little hills to climb. You want the head up to here so well, you're in Mexico now and this is a key step to get into Guarana now you can explore Mexico if you want just don't go far, far, too far into it because then the map of Guarana spawns in now it, for me it was like a struggle to get to Guarana so you also want to make sure that you have health care just in case because you, you might have to you'll take quite a bit of damage by falling off some stuff if you're not careful so like this is the second row clips and it looks like you can go around it which you can you just have to be careful that's why I was yeah used health gears before going down some hills now you want to go up next to these you want them make sure that you're at a certain point is around here it's so you'd say it they're like giant rock pillars they're around here 
so when you're here at this point where all these giant rock pillars are, I don't know why they're all here, they just are. So you wanna get to around here and you see that be these vaults. This is why I advise that you use health care before going down here. So you wanna go down to this point here. Go underneath. Keep going along this and it's around this point or that point you get to actually climb get out past these second row of cliffs and once i pass the second row you can just don't go any further on next to see all those trees over there don't go to them because that's gonna spawn in warmer so you want to just stay um like headed rather than going out and then you want to just go across you know i say if you go this way you'd end up in the back of guana and then you'd be on land but the road i'm gonna show you is quicker and you might die now that that's why you need help kids but you have to follow Right, it's important that you fall there. I'm gonna take a health care. And some bitters. So now you want you want to get over to this point and there's a floating rock here. Yeah, there it is, that's a floating rock. When you're at this floating rock, you're heading the right way because this is the area you need to go to. Now you can explore if you want before following the steps of the tutorial at this point, but if you want to go to Guama, I'd recommend just doing here if you want to do it quickly. Just follow me. Now, I'm gonna take some water, so I don't need it, I'm just take one. Now, when you're up at this point, don't, that part of the cliff is going down, you can see it getting shorter and shorter. So now we're gonna have to go up and around here. By the way, you can't call your horse in well then. I'm pretty sure if you do the glitch with a camp fire which so you haven't a clue how to do. You can get in with a campfire and bring a horse in. But then I don't know how to bring a horse to Guama. Also, when you act warm, if the toy whistle in your horse, it acts like you're in chapter 5, it says the horse, your horse is not on the island. Now, this is the part of the second cliff, that you, well, second hill, that you're going to be able to climb. So around here, just spam the space bar wherever to square, and you climb over it. Now, these are the trees. That you go if you go you keep going through it easy you'll end up in the water. And you can go down there and all and explore just all I know is that if you go through these trees you can end up in the water. Now there's a big cliff here. There is a big cliff. And we're gonna have to go around it. But I nearly fell down the first time. I've done this. And this spot is soft. Well not it's soft, but it's slanted. My healthcare is still active, so you slide. So that's a good thing about this one. Now you might fall here and take a bit of damage. So now you can continue to run into the beast trees and you're gonna die. Alright, you, you will die. And um, But when you die, you're gonna spawn in Guana. And now you're wondering how you're gonna die. Um, the water in Guam spawns in when you get too close to these trees. Like the big ocean in Guam spawns in when you get too close or oh, too far into these trees. Um, I was like, what the hell, before storm, because I thought you just have to walk the Guam. By the way, this tutorial has been made after me doing one day of just getting there. I like I went there just yesterday. That was my first time doing it. 
Um, water spawns in the boat now. Like, a round turn of water was spawning. I'm gonna go too close to these hills to this. I think it's about here. Like, the water just spawns out of nowhere. There's no way getting out of this because you lose all your time at my feet, isn't it? Now this is going on. Now we all know Joe Manson can't swim for sweet. Now, when you respawn, you should be on the island of Groma. And do not make a save game here. Whatever you do, do not make a save game here, because you won't be able to get back. Unless I can make a new save file, obviously. Like, I can make saying new save game. So, this is my Goma save Or, is it? You'll never know. Right, um. So this right here is my goal on my safe part this. So I'm in Gorma. And to go out, you'll have to load a different save file. Or probably like I left the game. And just like close the game and went back on to another corner. Now you can get the rest of the plants in the game if there is any here, because I don't know if there is any plants. And you can also um go back to her. You worry that the snipers in this location, and um you can study the rest of the animals. Let's see, like three star green iguana. How much of the green iguana sell for? How much clear? Now, usually you're gonna keep spawning at this point in Guana. Look around here. So this is like a new set spawn point, really something. It's like a world spawn in Minecraft, basically. Now there's a like green ground as well. I'm not sure you can get the like um loads of birds here that are just native with their ground. Like you might be able to get them back in the main game. Like if I go to progress, compendium, animals. This great green macaw. The great greens macaws main habitat is Gorma, so you can only find like loads of these birds, you know, that are only native to Gorma. Now, if there are these, like there's one bird that I couldn't get, because it was in this zone and a sniper was shooting at me. And I actually get it without a sniper shooting at you, you have to use your binoculars. And study them from afar. So let's see. Cuban land crab, like dirt, a kind of thing. I can't remember. A scarlet macaw. Buddy! Por favor, sin problema. You're a good man, ain't you? Hmm. I'll find you.
like these birds that I have never studied before. Brown pelican. No, American white pelican. So you'll find a lot of stuff here also that you can get a donkey and ride the donkey over here. I don't even know you could ride donkeys. It is a donkey, but you'll probably get sniped. Like even using how to the sniper will still one shot you. Yeah. I am entirely sure that there is not any plant native to go on in this game. Because there's a challenge for getting in the plant. <coughs> And I don't think they would do that for one in the warmer. So you probably won't be able to get anything in Guana. And I'd shoot myself if I were like, to go to here and allow the yellow missing to put it on me, man. Those blue men? Three star stacks. That's who I Big China pig. Use a pig for a donkey. Now there's a donkey. You can ride the donkey. It's mad funny when you ride the donkeys. This galona, it's very small. I don't think he's a guy. He's in blue clothes and he has a hat. Oh, he is a guy, doesn't he? Er, mister. Hola. You be well, partner. No, I'm not sure if these are actual Hello. enemies. Or all of them are enemies. But, um, you know where to get to go on now. Good for you. <laughs> 